Hi, I'm Lucas. I'm here to teach you how to train your search and rescue dog. This is Prim up here, and today I just kind of ran into a scenario where I could really use a scent dog. So, I'm going to flip things around and show you what I plan on doing. It's a little exercise. It's Prim. She's a German Shepherd, full bred, and she's done some training before, but the exercise today is going to be, I'm going to turn her into an auto mechanic. What's been going on? I've got a leak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh -huh, and we are going to get a sample. All right. So I've got a nice sample of what it is. Right. So that's going to be our target. Here. Pop open your hood. Now I could just look and see which one is leaking and get under there, but as you can see, I'm kind of tight on space. So the first we want to do, we're going to take an oil sample. Second, we're going to take our transmission fluid. And our third sample, which I think is the likely culprit, is my steering fluid. And I'm guessing that because it is quite low and I've never really checked it. And finally, the last fluid, the one I want to be the most careful with and make sure that it is not. And make sure that she's not drinking it either and that I don't drop this in there is our antifreeze or coolant. Prim come. Sit. Stay. And actually I'm going to stick the antifreeze to where if she starts licking it I can get to it. So that's our antifreeze. This is our transmission fluid. This is our normal oil and this is our steering fluid. So, I've got my four set up here. And I'm going to take my target. I'm not really sure what it is. It's not very strong. That's why I can't tell what it is. Ready, ready, take scent, take scent. Okay, you got it. Search. Girl, search. And a freeze. All right. Good girl. But that's not the one I want you to look for. Keep going. See, look, she's smelling where it was. Oh. Drop. Oh, that is the one. Is that the one? That's the one. Oh, are you kidding me? That was awesome. That was so great. That went really well. She indicated by picking it up and pulling it over, got her nice and hypered up, gave her a good reward. So little exercises like that, I mean, you gotta always be thinking, there's something you can do and it's, you know, you wanna give your dog the most variety of scents. I mean, you just treat it like a game. That's all this was to her, it's a game. We're not putting high stakes on the dog that if you don't find this person, they're gonna die. Nobody wants to play that game. You wanna play, I'm going to give you a scent, give you four options, you pick it. Yay, you get a reward afterwards. That's all it is to a 